Hi YouTube, Larry here, back with another episode of Larry's Mental Musings, and today I want to talk about some basic terminology. So, everybody probably knows at this point that I'm an atheist. I say it 17 times a day, anybody that doesn't know should know. <sighs> anyway, so an atheist is somebody who lacks belief in God, or deities, or universal energy, or... I don't know, anything that Jung ever said, yada yada yada. So that means I don't believe in the Christian God, Muslim God, Jewish God, Greek gods, Egyptian gods, any gods. I don't believe in the cosmic turtle, I don't believe in any of that stuff. I have a complete lack of belief in anything supernatural, and that's what an atheist is. Now, um, an agnostic is not the same thing as an atheist, even though those two things are generally lumped together. An agnostic is somebody that takes the position that they do not know for certain whether or not God exists. They accept that the possibility of God exists, but they also state that they don't have an, enough evidence to come to the conclusion that he definitively does exist. Now, that's all fine and well, but the unfortunate thing is that often when it comes to theists, they lump agnostics and atheists in with another group, which is anti-theists and mesotheists. What an anti-theist is, is they are an atheist as a starting point, but then they go a little further to say that they are against all other religions and against the idea of other people believing in God. And uh, many anti-theists justify that by pointing out some of the problems that religion causes in the world, the amount of violence and wars that have been fought over religion, and they use that as their basis for saying that they don't approve of religion, period. Now, a mesotheist is a completely different philosophical category, and I'm only bringing it up here because I have seen in many videos and articles where people conflate atheists with mesotheists, even though in their basic definitions they are incredibly different. So what a mesotheist is, is somebody who does believe in God. They do believe that a God exists as prescribed by whichever religion they ascribe to. But they believe that this God is either evil or has nefarious intentions or is in some way not worthy of worship even though he does, he, she, it, they do exist. So mesotheists actively hate whatever deity that they actually do believe exists, making them distinctly different from atheists, agnostics, or anti-theists because they do believe in deities. Now. It's very, very concerning when these things get mixed up because a lot of times what fundamentalists will claim is they claim that there's no such thing as atheists. They claim that all atheists are simply mesotheists and because of their hatred of God, that's why they push away religion and religious people. But this simply is an effect. I'm telling you from my own experience, from the dozens of people I've talked to, from the probably hundreds of videos I've seen, atheists definitely do exist. There are tons of people who just, for whatever personal background reason, there are people like me who came from religion that just fell out of it over time. There are people who were never brought up with religion in the first place. There are people who had bad experiences with the church and went to try to find a new religion and then just wound up at a nun state. You know, nun, N-O-N-E, -N -E, not nun, N-U-N, because that is definitely a religious state. But atheists do exist in their various forms. And so... I want to take a moment here to definitely make a statement saying that I have no beef with religious people. I have no beef with anybody that doesn't harm me or other people. If you as a religious person are also a law-abiding citizen that upholds the values of our country, then I have no problem with you. I have problems with people who use their religion to abuse others and deny them rights. But I have no problem with religion in general. I myself am not an anti-theist. 
but I think it's very, very important that these distinctions be made and that people are aware of them because it definitely does affect how we treat each other. Religious people react very badly to anti-theists and misotheists for good reasons, because there's confrontation there. But there is no reason that religious people and atheists and agnostics cannot get along. And even anti-theists, if they're softer anti-theists. But thank you for watching, and thank you for listening to my pretty poor explanation of all these things. So, I'll see you next time.